Hey and welcome to the Complete Unity Developer. This is the course that was the result of a Kickstarter that funded more than 1,000%. Mm -hmm. My name is Ben Tristam, I'm a novice coder and I'm going to be looking after the learning journey from the beginner's perspective. And I'm Brees Fernandes, I'm an expert developer and I'm going to be looking at your final destination, making sure you learn the right things, things that are useful for you as you go on after the course. He's also going to be making sure the code you write is mm. just right. Mm -hmm. Just right. Okay, so take this course and you will learn how to make indie games, you'll learn how to program in C-sharp and you're going to have a lot of fun. So why Unity? Unity is a fantastic, modern, powerful, cross-platform game development tool that is free to use and is just the talk of the moment. That's why we've chosen Unity. So why have we chosen C Sharp as a language, please? Yeah, Unity gives us a choice and we chose C Sharp. And really, the reason we chose it is it's widely used elsewhere, right? The software industry is full of people who use C Sharp. There's also a great community that, of people who write C Sharp for a living uh, and they'll be able to help you learn and grow and develop your skills after you've finished this course. In addition, C Sharp is a really transferable uh, skill. Once you learn C Sharp, you'll be able to pick up a lot of different language, go up to more complex language, go down to simpler language, and do all, uh, learn a lot more. So that's why we pick C Sharp. Absolutely. So it's a great place to start learning to code. How are we going to do this? We've got uh, a handful of games for you. We're starting with Number Wizard. And we're going to do that both uh, in a really basic form and then with a user interface. And this is about getting you comfortable with scripting. Moving on from Number Wizard, we've got Text 101. What's that about, Bruce? So Text 101 is all about sharing your game. And the most important thing is, when you make a game, it's only a game if you have players who play it, right? So Text 101 is about you building a game and sharing it with your friends. And we're also going to support you in doing that. We've got a service up and running for you, Game Bucket, that's going to be there for you to use so you can share your game with your friends for free. Absolutely. Then we go on to Block Breaker, all about physics, which is where Unity really comes into its own. Mm -hmm. And we make an amazing Arkanoid clone um, that we have already had several students make their own versions of, and we're really proud of what they've created. It makes us feel great to see them be able to do that, and you can be one of them as soon as you get into the course. From Block Breaker, we move on to Laser Defender. What's that about, Breeze? Laser Defender is a really awesome 2D uh, space shooter, and it's all about animation, making sure that the uh, characters and the players in the game, the 2D game, feel alive and make it really realistic just using animations. Cool, then Ghoul Garden is a much more complex game than anything you've seen before, but by the time you get there, you'll be ready to handle mm -hmm. it. It's a Plants vs Zombies clone with a lot more going on, and you're going to be ready when you get to that game. Moving on from there, we go to Hyper Paddle. What's so good about that, Yeah, Bruce? Hyper Paddle is awesome. So Hyper Paddle is a 3D game, so it's going to be your first introduction to the 3D world. And also, it's all about scorekeeping. We'll show you how to build a global scoreboard so that your players can share their scores with their friends across the world. So that's going to be quite cool. Some network programming, some database, and you'll be able to do that after Hyperpaddle. Absolutely. Really useful, mm. really useful tool, right? So it's a great time to learn to code, and there's no more fun way of learning to code than games. So please take this course now, and we'll see you in there.